Expedition Southeast started with a monumental event uh, back at our new headquarters in Mayport, our new dock where we had dignitaries come and, and we dedicated the dock, dedicated this expedition to uh, OSEARCH's new relationship with Jacksonville University and the, the city of Jacksonville. Let's build that beaming ray of light that eventually becomes one of the most influential institutions in the entire world. Our animals are migrating south, coming from their summer feeding areas into this area of the southeast United States where their winter feeding ground is, and a very important area, especially for the adult sharks, that we desperately need to fill out our data set for our 100 sharks to answer 100 questions about the white shark of the western North Atlantic. So the overwintering residency area for this population really extends from about the outer banks of North Carolina all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So it is a pretty wide area. We're in a time period now where the wide majority of the sharks have either begun or have already made their migration south. And they'll remain here until late spring, early summer, when the water temperatures here begin to warm and then make that migration back north again. So in terms of the factors that trigger the migration of these animals, it usually is not just one thing. Water temperature is a big one, and with our PSAT tag data, we can see what temperatures these animals spend the majority of their time. They prefer that kind of 60 to 65 degree Fahrenheit water temperature. Where we're at right now is about 62, 62 and a half degrees. During this expedition, we're trying to get some of those larger animals. The larger animals can be a little more tricky to find, but they're really important for understanding the population. Specifically, the larger adult females seem to make a different migratory loop or pattern that is likely due to having pups. If we can get tags on animals right now, you know, a few months from now, we might be able to see potentially what they're doing around what we hypothesize might be the mating period for these animals. Thank you.